Bob? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, she's a whole lot of fun to look at, but why do you want me to keep an eye on Madison North? Well, oh, I know her. I know, but I know of her. The widow of the XX DA. She was in a bad place a little while back and caused some trouble at the dance marathon. If she did, what kind of trouble? Well, I don't know. I was busy trying to keep you guys conscious. All, all I know is that, that, that Jesse dealt with it. Huh. Yeah. Just a minute. Hello? Ted, it's Angie. Hey. Is everything all right? There's been an accident. The paramedics are bringing Colby and Damon in now. I'll be right there. My kid's at the hospital. Can you find somebody to cover? Absolutely. Go, 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 go. Oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Walk on out? Well, it's early. Things could turn around. Hmm. If you'd be willing to float me along. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. Come on, Ryan. What's a few hundred dollars? You know I'm good for it. Look, why don't we have that drink now? And then maybe we can start being honest with each other. Why exactly? For a man as smart as you are... Are you doing something as stupid as cop a plea? You're so convinced the only way for me to stay out of jail is to put Greenlee on the stand? To hit a square in the face with the truth? Well, if that's the case, I'd rather be in jail. So call the DA, accept whatever deal he's making, because there's no way in hell I'm going to destroy Greenlee like that. If you cave now, this will be both of our careers. Oh, come on. Give me a break. You got your sizable retainer. I couldn't care less. Make the call. Really? Really, you're just willing to throw all this away for Greenlee? She's my wife. Oh, she married you to get back at Ryan. Not exactly a love to stick your life on, is it? My life. My decision. Make the damn call. What? I'm going to keep calling until you, uh, until you pick up the phone. Brooke? Dr. Hubbard, what can I do for you? I think you should be the one to address the committee. By myself? Well, the point is to raise the awareness for bone marrow donations. Who better to speak on the process than someone who's been through it? Wait, I, I just finished telling you how nervous I am to speak in front of everyone. And now, now you want me to do it alone? No, no way. It's not happening. Well, I'll help you prep, Annie. We can practice it as much as you like. No, I think I'd rather get help from your father. Thank you very much. <sighs> Adam? I've got Colby. Go ahead. What do we got, Joe? BP 108 over 60, pulse 100, deformity above the left elbow. Radial and ulnar pulses are good, right, but decreased on motion of the extremity. Right, get him in the cube three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Damon! Listen, you can talk to Damon later. First, we need to see what's going on. No, I am you. fine. I have. That has to stay No, I'm on fine. I have a few cuts and bruises, please. Damon is the one who needs help, please. I am fine. I. Listen, don't... that has to stay on until we can clear your spine. Feel that? Yeah, yeah. The sensation is intact. Nice. All right, we're gonna need a an arm series. How's Colby? He's uh, better than you at the moment. And a chest series. You might have some broken ribs. I need to see her. No, you will. Just as soon as you have your picture taken, okay? I thought you said two cars were involved. Yeah, well, fire and rescue are having a really tough time getting the other driver out. Have you notified the family? Just got an ID from the scene. It's not good. 